Okay, hope you enjoyed that one. That was hiking the Numbat Trail in Peruna Wildlife Sanctuary. It's located about 45 minutes drive northeast of Perth as you're heading out towards Tujo. And in my opinion, this is definitely one of the best hikes I've done in the Perth region. It's got everything that you want in a hike. Waterfalls, little streams going everywhere. Wildlife, um, yeah, absolutely stunning in all aspects. But if you're looking at doing this hike yourself, you will have to register. And registration costs $10. So what you have to do is call up the Peruna Wildlife Sanctuary, um, just say which trail uh, you're looking at doing. There is three, the number of trail is the longest of the three, and the other two kind of take the same path, but um, a little bit smaller. So upon registering, you will get this little information package, which basically has everything you need to know and more. I kind of had a bit of a browse through it, but it was <laughs> kind of information overload for me. So I just kind of skimmed through it and made note of the important parts, which were of course, registering your name when you first rock up and then signing out when you finish your hike. So this trail took me about, or well, just under six hours to complete. And they do say in the forms that they give you, it'll take about six to nine, nine hours to complete. In my opinion though, I felt like I was going almost like a turtle. My knee was a little bit dicky, so I was going very, very slow. And I think it'd be very easy to knock this trail out in four or five hours if you're just going at a general to reasonable pace. You may also have noticed that this was the first hike I've been on where I didn't bring my drone. And that was, of course, because it's not permitted. The wildlife sanctuary is in a military airspace, so um, yeah, big no-go. And there was actually a couple of occasions where a couple jets flew over at absolute hypersonic speed. Um, kind of a little bit scared the bejesus out of me because it was so loud and so out of the blue. Um, but yeah, that's just definitely something to keep in mind if you do have a drone and are looking at taking some wildlife pictures. As the kookaburras go absolutely nuts, um, but yeah, just keep that in mind if you are doing that. And they also say that photography and videography is for personal use only. If you are planning on doing it for commercial use, um, you will have to get uh, written permission and maybe fill out some extra forms and whatnot. So on that note, that pretty much wraps this one up. I do plan on doing an overnighter, if not two nights for the next trip. So it'll be a little bit longer than this short and sweet video. But until that happens, I'll see you in the next one. Peanut butter. Peanut butter. Eat me up, me be, squeeze me, eat me. Ah, pick peanut butter slurp. Really good. So good. <laughs>